Philip Plain, welcome to Dubai and Thank congrats so on the boutique opening in Thank Dubai so Mall in the fashion extension. Tell me, this is boutique number? I don't know. <laughs> you, can, you lost count after 100 I, maybe. We, we are over 100 and that's really hard for me to tell you because we're opening constantly new boutiques but I, I have to recount. We, we are in total we have about 200 stores now worldwide okay. uh, in the group including Billionaire Plan Sport and Philip Line. Philip Line of course uh, is the major brand mm -hmm. in our group with over 100 stores and it's the number Two store, the second store in Dubai. Hmm? Yes. We are in Emirates, now we are in Dubai. It's not really a completely new store because we were already in Dubai Mall, but this sure. is the new extension, Definitely. which is very exciting for us to be here. Definitely. It's beautiful. I just came in here now the first time in the new extension. It's amazing and it's, okay. it's, it's amazing how Dubai always keeps on surprising us. How does Dubai inspire you? A lot, because you know, like fashion is about changes. And sure. I don't know any other city in the world which changes faster than Dubai. Uh, when we go today to Paris, we can find what we know. Sure. Paris is always Paris. It's beautiful, it's amazing, it's magic, yeah. but it's Paris. You maybe find a new restaurant on the corner or a new nightclub, but when yeah. you come to Dubai, you find every time... Something new. Something really new. Oh, there's a new city center, oh, there's a new mall, oh, there's a new whatever. It's, it's dynamic. The brand is bold, Philip Plain. It's yeah. like unique. It's for women that dares to wear something different. It's not boring, as you say. Uh, what, how do you want the brand to be known? What's the strongest DNA of your brand? I think our DNA is really rock and roll. We are um, really a rock and roll brand. And, and that doesn't mean you have to like skulls or have to wear a skull. We are rock and roll as a, it's a philosophy, okay? okay? Um, it's a brand which is not so boring maybe and so old fashioned than many other fashion houses. Um, we are the new kid on the block and we consider ourselves as the new generation of luxury brand. Uh, this is also because of our young age. The brand will celebrate next year its 20th birthday. Uh, Philip Line is around since 20 years, which is actually not so young anymore, but still considered to all the other fashion houses around us, we are still the young kid. And uh, I think that's what we are. We are dynamic, we are fast, and we are fun. Uh, how, uh, tell me about your involvement. How do you conceive a collection from scratches to, to seeing it on the podium? Well, I do everything. Everything, you're a one-man show. Well, we are one-man show, actually. Well, not, we have 700 people in the company, but... You're involved personally. I'm everywhere from the beginning till the end, especially when it goes to the, to the... I'm not so much in the accounting and the bookkeeping as in the brand development, marketing, and, of course, in the design. Um, you know, a brand is something very personal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's something... It's, it's like you ask an author who writes a book. Um, how much you involved in writing your book? I mean, the author will say, "I write my book." My you know, it's my book. I write the, every yeah. word on the paper, yeah. or an editor who writes an article, right? And and this is something also uh, I think about the brand, um, and this also makes the success of a brand a strong DNA, which is irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is a big problem nowadays for fashion houses when they change the designers. You have big fashion brands which change the designs because the they designs are not the owners. So they change and when they go away, the complete brand changes and the consumer is, is, is confused. They say, oh, but this is not the brand I used to buy. Yeah, but the designer is not here, like who conceived exactly. the brand like you. Exactly. <laughs> so this is, I think, also a little bit of difference between us and the other fashion houses. Definitely. How do you see the brand? Like you achieved a lot and now you're uh, still owning the company fully. Do you, do you look to go IPO or do you look to maybe uh, to belong to a bigger group? Well, I don't want to be part of a bigger group. We feel very comfortable being independent and this is actually what I like. I mean, we are... The brand is like my baby, you know, it's like your own child. When you have your own child and you see your child growing up, I think if someone comes and says, mm, do you think that you would share your child with another person? You said, of course not, you know, because it's something very personal and it's something which you are proud of because it's something of you, it's a part of you. Definitely. And, and I think this is something which, which, which makes, makes us become so much involved in the daily business. And uh, when we think about an IPO and, and development, yes, we are a small group now. We are billionaire, we are Philip Line, we are Plan Sport. Maybe in the future there will be another brand. We don't know yet, but at the moment we feel very confident and happy with what we have achieved and we are still developing and building. And yeah. You have a great lifestyle on a personal level. What is luxury for you? 
if my girlfriend doesn't fight with me because I've never time with her. <laughs> you know, the problem is time. my partner uh, um, um, needs attention. Every woman needs attention. Of course. And they need it from the morning till the evening. <laughs> so sometimes, very often, my company needs attention too. And, and luxury for me is to have a beautiful time, private time with my partner. If I have this possibility, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. And then good Everybody's luck for happy. this. <laughs> Inshallah. Um, on a, many designers, like we see a lot of emerging designers in the region, they look up to your success. Tell me your three secrets, recipe for success. Okay, very easy. I mean, the most important one is to believe in yourself, okay? Because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody will. Believe in you. Believe in yourself mm -hmm. because, because a lot of people will tell you that you will not make it, you don't have the possibilities and, and this will happen. Especially the fashion industry is a very challenging industry. It's, there's so much product in the market but the demand is not automatically growing. So you really have to be self-confident about what you do and how you do, number one. Um, number two I think is um, to, to be, have discipline. Yeah? Because if you don't have discipline you will never achieve something Commitment, in life. consistency, this exactly. is what you mean. This is what I mean with discipline. To be committed to the project, to be consistent and not never to give up. Yeah? Um, and the third one I think is to believe in your dreams. As I said in the first time again, it comes back to the first one until they come true. You know, you have to hunt your dreams. You have to set goals and you have to consistently and, and constantly follow them and try to, to realize them. Otherwise, this is all it needs, mm. actually. You are a risk taker. Of course, and I think, um, also coming back to your question, this is what many people see. I'm not born rich. I started my business without any money. And, and this gives the people, all everybody, a little bit of an example that you can create something, you build something without having support from outside. And we never had support from outside. There was never an investor. There was not my parents who gave money in the company. We were starting from zero. What an inspiration. And, and yeah. this, I think, gives the people the, 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 the vision that if someone can do it, I can do it too. Definitely. Definitely you inspire a lot of young talent. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much.